Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. My channel icon has a picture of Jesus reaching his hand out and a person reaching to Jesus for the embrace. I'd like to talk about that today. Jesus said that he is God. Jesus said that he came down from heaven. Jesus said he came down from heaven and became a man so he could die for our sins. And he was faithful. He willingly went to the cross and suffered and died for all of our sins. Now our sins are all paid for. Now we can have a relationship with God because sin is no longer a barrier. Jesus said to believe in him for everlasting life. Why should you do it? Why should you believe it? Because Jesus gave us a sign so that we could be confident. We could feel justified in trusting him for our salvation. What was the sign? Jesus raised himself from the dead he proved that he is God. He proved that he has power of life and death. And he's offering every one of us life everlasting as a free gift. How do you receive it? Jesus is reaching out to you. He wants to embrace you. He wants this loving relationship with you. He wants to give you eternal life if you just put your faith in him and nothing else. Have you ever done it? If you have never done that, will you do it now? No longer believe in your own ability to get to heaven. No longer believe in religion can get you to heaven. And believe instead that all your efforts are futile and you need Jesus to save you. Embrace him. Believe in him. And at that very instant, he gives you life everlasting, eternal life. Eternal means goes on forever. You can never lose it. So think about these verses now. John 3.16, of course, says that for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You will not perish. Instead, you'll have eternal life. Now, John 5.24 tells us that you have eternal life and you will not be condemned. It says, in fact, we have already crossed over from death to life. It's already done. Numbers 23, 19 tells us that God's not a man. He doesn't lie. He doesn't change his mind. And you, don't, you no longer have your salvation. He does not promise you eternal life by believing in Jesus and then not fulfill his promise. First Thessalonians chapter 5 tells us that the one who calls you is faithful. He will do it. John 10, chapter 10 tells us, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So, this picture of Jesus reaching out, picture of you embracing Jesus, receiving this relationship with God, receiving this gift of eternal life, this picture is him holding you in the palm of his hand. 
It also says, no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. So the Father has you in his hand. The Son has you in his hand. No one can pluck you out. Jesus has his hold on you. You embraced him. No one can pluck you out. Hebrews chapter 13 says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Jesus has his hold on you. You're in his palm of his hand. What happens if you do what the prodigal son did and say, Father, I want to go my own way and you leave and you go off and get in the pig's pen and get involved in sinful life and you're gone and you left. The prodigal son didn't become a pig just because he lived in the pig pen. The prodigal son never stopped being the son. The father was always his father and always faithful. So when if we go get off into sin, Jesus still has a hold of us. John chapter 6 says, I will in no wise cast you out. Jesus will never cast you away, no matter what you do after you get saved. If Second Timothy says, if we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Jesus has you in the palm of his hand. And someday there's a crisis in your life. Someone you love is dying. Horrible tragedies happen in your life. Everything's going wrong. And God doesn't answer your prayers as you think he should. And you say, I don't want you, God. I don't want you, Jesus. I'm leaving. It says, if we believe not, he abideth faithful. He still remains faithful. He still has his hold on you, even if you lose your faith, even if you say, I don't want a relationship with God. I don't believe in Jesus. He remains faithful. Romans chapter 7, John chapter 11 says, The gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable irrevocable once you have embraced jesus once you receive have it, received eternal life it's irrevocable that means that god cannot revoke it because he cannot break his promise you cannot revoke it even if you decide to leave even if you misbehave it's irrevocable jesus still has a hold on you he remains faithful he will never cast you out he will never break this hold he has on you. So I, I hope that you understand now that if you have ever put your faith in Jesus and received eternal life, that you can never lose it for any reason. And if you've never put your faith in Jesus, I hope you understand now that you need to do it. Put your faith in him now. Embrace him. Receive the gift of eternal life. And then know that you are secure. You are secure in his arms. And I pray now that you can learn to rest securely in the loving arms of our great Savior God, Jesus. Amen.